Yo, what's that deal with me? Hey, you sure already know, homies. This is another week, and you guessed it. I got some more people I can't wait to talk about. And you know what? I'm glad it is because the groups of people I'm getting ready to talk about, I've been wanting to talk about for a minute now. So enjoy the show. Question. Do y'all ever had that one friend or that one individual that get mad at you for telling them no? Because I mean, for real, whenever they ask you for something, you end up telling them no, you can't do it. They start acting all dramatic on your ass, just like this. After everything I fucking did for you, you not gonna fucking talk to me? Now, y'all can't tell me y'all don't know anybody like that. Well, if y'all do, then you already know. We we got some more shit to talk about, so sit your ass right there, stay tuned. What's that deal, homies? I'm your boy Adrian AKA AD, connect straight for the west side. What up, dog? How y'all homies doing out there? Y'all good still? You already know I gotta ask y'all from time to time. Cause we all know, life is crazy. Just don't let it make you crazy. Protect yourselves at all times, homies. And for all you new homies out there that's new to this channel, then you already know. You can't just stop by without hitting that subscribe button for your boy one time. Hey, you know what, homies? It's actually not a bad day here today. The sun is out and it's kind of warm out here, but you should already know I can't be out too long, so I'm gonna stop all the talking so we can hurry me get down to the shit. And like I said earlier, homies, some of the most petty ass, dramatic ass people to be around are those types of people that wild out on you whenever you tell their ass no. I mean, damn! No means no, just accept me. Now don't get me wrong at all, homies. I don't mind doing things with people as long as I have time to do it. That's not what I'm talking about at all. What I'm talking about are those types of people that expect for you to drop everything you're doing so you can stop and go help them out with their shit. Like you their personal servant. And don't tell me y'all don't know anybody like this because I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all in relationships with people like this. Or you got a friend or a close family member that's exactly like that. No matter who it is, I guarantee you know them. Whether you know them or not, just cut that bullshit out. Is that really too much to ask? But for some people, homies, unfortunately it is. Just like one of my my God damn homies. Like I said earlier, homies, you have one friend that whenever they ask you to do something, you tell their ass no. They want to feel some type of way about it. That's his ass. You want to see them talking about homies? Let's just take a look. Let's see, I got my bag, got my badge, got my keys. Right, let me get my ass about here before I be late for work. Hey, bro. Bro, hey. I'm glad I caught you, man. Hey, I need you to do me this favor real quick. And I thought I locked that damn door. Hey, bro, what the hell you want, man? Dude, I just need you to take me somewhere real quick. Take you somewhere? Yeah. Sorry, bro. Can't do it, man. I'm getting ready for work. Hey, that's cool, bro. Hey, it's on the way to your job anyway, man. You just drop me off, and you go ahead and head to work. Then where is it? Cleveland. Man, hell no. Dude, why not? Dude, what you mean why not? Cleveland is nowhere near where I work at, bro. You sound crazy as hell. Hey, for one, I said it was on the way to your job, not near it. Dude, no. Bro, you really gonna tell me no? Yep. No, for real, bro. You really telling your man's no? I just did. Dude, that's messed up, man. After everything I did for you, Bro, when you was down bad and you needed a place to stay, dude, I took you in. Bullshit, bro. You was the first one to tell me no. I did? you damn right. Bro, you even told me to hit the streets with your homeless ass. You know what, bro? Let's just let the past be the past, man. Forgive and forget, man. Hey, just do me this favor for your mans real quick. Well, you better off catching the bus, bro, because I can't do it. You know what, dude? You ain't shit. Yeah, I said it. I'm going to take your little ass to work, man, with that little ass mediocre ass job working at Popeye's. Man, I hope your ass get a damn flat tire on your way to work, too. Shut out here anyway. Peace out. Yeah, whatever, Carlos. Get your ass up out of here, man. The bus stop running at 7. Anyway, man, let me ask somebody if I be late. All right, bro. I'm gonna overlook and forgive you for everything you just said by doing me this one favor. See, you got some damn nerve. I gotta hear this. What's the favor, bro? Let me borrow your car, bro. I promise to have it back to you by the time you get off work. How about it? I swear you can't make this shit up. And what's even crazier about it, homies, is that no matter how unreasonable the favor might be, they still expect for you to do it without you telling them no at all. Forget what I got going on. Just stop what I'm doing just to cater to you. The bottom line, homies, if you're around people like this and they just won't take your no for an answer, stay away from them before you end up slapping that shit into their ass. Flat out. Uh, look, homies, I keep going on all damn down these damn people, but I got a romance spot here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave the story at that. So until next time, homies, I'm your boy, Adrian, a.k.a. The Country for the West Side. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.